Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll be opening door number 10 of the Lego Marvel Avengers Advent Calendar for this year. It's Lego set 76267. This is the front of the box with some of the um, characters and bits on it. And this is the back of the box with some few more of the characters and bits on it. Drop that down there. And there we have the um, drop down bit, which looks like it could, it's probably in Avengers Tower with a nice view of the New York skyline. So, but it does look very nice. Um, the box is well designed. We'll have a quick, we'll do a quick recap before we get, before we open door number 10. We have Iron Man figure, should be a Santa one, keep saying this. Hopefully someone at Lego or Disney will approve this one. Oh, it's probably some copyright on Santa, so we got, a, or Disney probably brought Santa or something like that, so. Door number two, we have the Christmas Quinjet. Really cool, nice build, like this. Does appeal to me. The red, the red, the white, and the gold really does work. Door number three, we have Spider-Man in his Christmas jumper. It does look all right, nice little figure. Jump, the jumper is cool. Uh, not much on the legs, unfortunately. Put him there. Door number four, the Spider-Man accessories. All in the bag, keeping these in the bag for the time being until, uh, until they're needed elsewhere. Otherwise, they're losing the box. Door number five, the, the Iron Snowman, which is quite cool. A nice little Christmassy thing. Needs a bit more of an Ultron, needs to be a bit Ultron in disguise or something, that'd be quite cool. Door number six is the present wrapping station from two years ago, which I'm not 100% sure about. I think it's in the wrong set. Um, stick it in a uh, Lego friend set or something like that. Be, I think that would work quite nicely. Door number seven, which is Natasha Romanoff in her Christmas jumper. Really cool little figure. I do quite like this. this is the this is the best figure in, in, the, in the calendar so far. Door number eight is the, the reindeer with the, with the spider trees, with the, with the webbing trees, which is quite cool. I do quite like this. Um, the little reindeer is quite nice. It's Christmassy. Um, it, do, it does what it's meant to do. I think they could they could probably just change it out and stick it into a Lego Friends one next year to be honest with you though, in my opinion, but Lego Friends or Lego City. Uh, next we have a Captain America figure with, with no cow, just the headpiece but the shield. It's always good to have a spare shield and a spare cat body as well, so the legs, there's no, no printing on the legs, so just, just like there is in most part of Iron Man, is anyone who's got any print on his legs. Next we have door number 10. No, door number 10 has been partially opened already from a previous, if you watched the previous video, you have seen me put my finger right through it before, but I haven't, I haven't looked at it yet. So I've, been, I've waited until now, day 10, to actually look at it. So we'll open it up and see what we've got. We have, oh, it looks like Captain America's jetpack, which looks quite cool, I'll try and show you that. Like he has a jetpack on the back here, as you can see. I think it's quite cool, a little jetpack for cat for cat. He deserves it. And plus it's plus it's something that's actually useful as well, so. So it starts off with, um, we have like a backpack piece for the, uh, for a Lego figure with four, with a flat four, a flat four stud on the back. And we have two of these one pieces with a little um, female eye piece on. Then we have a like a, a front mini spoiler bit with a with a two by one on the, attached to a two by one.
You make sure it's all attached properly because you don't want it, you want it to look good. As you can see, that goes on there like that. That is a quite, quite a cool little build, to be honest with you. And you have a couple of little mini flame bits which go on the bottom. So Captain America has a little jetpack as well. So I'll stick that bit in there. There's a spare little flame bit in there. They, those bits are always handy to keep. We'll stick in a little jet. This is the jetpack. It's a jetpack you could use on quite. This is a nice little build for a jetpack. Apart from that bit there, it's quite specialised. I'm quite sure you, you could buy that from Lego or Bricklink or somewhere like that. So. I'm surprised they haven't put that onto any Lego minifigures yet. It would be quite nice, but there are some new ones coming out in January, you know, but they're coming out in boxes again, so I'm not sure which one I'm doing then yet, so. I'll have to, I'll have to see how the finances are and stuff like that, so. There we go, we have our Captain America with his jetpack. He does look good with his jetpack, it has to be said. I do quite like that actually, that jetpack. It's a quite a nice, it is a, it is, it is a very nice little build and, and it's a very nice little, it's a very nice little um, pre-moulded brick they've actually made for a, um, um, just as a jetpack because in the, in the back, in the pre, in the, in back in the day you used the oxygen tanks you had on Lego Spaceman or Fireman as a, as a jetpack. Um, the, the, the actual logistics of it were a bit weird. How, I mean, how they had that much fuel to jet them around and breathe air, that was a whole other thing, but that is what you call a cool jetpack, and Lego should make more of these. I expect to see these on, the, on some Lego minifigures this year, because that, that, that is a cool brick. And maybe, and maybe next year in the, in, in the Lego event calendar, but just do maybe some slight different characters, or, or put one on them, um, put one on them, um, um, Star-Lord as well, that'd be quite a cool pack, pack for him as well, so maybe different colours, but that's quite a nice little build, I do quite like that. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Uh, if you did, do feel free to like, share, subscribe. If you have any comments or feedback on this video, do feel free to add them at the end of the video, and I'll try to give you a mention on an upcoming video. Stay, um, If you, if you do leave a comment, please make sure it's, it, it, it's constructive, um, otherwise um, I won't be replying. I would like to thank um, everyone on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook and Threads for supporting this channel now. Thank you very much. Your support is very much appreciated by me and the channel. Um, you're part of the Lego Man Stu family as well. Some would say it's a good thing, some, some people would say it wouldn't, but then again, um, you, you, um, everyone, everyone is welcome. So stay safe, keep building, make my marvel, Avengers Assemble, and happy, ho happy holidays, and hope to see you on an upcoming video. Thank you for watching.